special episode where we have Natasha Bhagwan with us. She has this very interesting book called The Daughter's Mum, as you can see here, My Daughter's Mum. And today I'm getting into this conversation with Natasha to really try and understand a few things. What inspired her? What is the book about? I personally read the book and I know that it connects very well with today's mother, who's always trying to run to do a lot of things, whether it's the kids, whether it's the husband, whether it's your career, or it's just your own dreams and aspirations. So thank you so much, thank you, thank you, Natasha. My first question to you is, very frankly, what inspired you to get your own experiences, your memories about your three beautiful girls, your husband, onto paper? Uh, I literally started writing to talk to myself, right. to to you know create, to bring the different parts of myself into a whole. Right. Because right. okay, daughter is doing this, mother is doing that, wife is doing this, right. person at work is doing something else, and you just right. feel like there's so many different parts of you, but you need a whole person to be a mother, to be right. you, to be right. yourself. Right. So literally, I started writing to myself. And then when it began to get an audience and it began right. to resonate with people, right. and it, you know, began, began, became more and more popular, right. it really became a kind of a, a writing against judgment, writing against our fears, writing right. to, to push back all of these things right. that come in the way right. of you yes. being your creative because model. Because I think it is, it's, it's very personal. I mean, you're writing about your family, you're writing about your everyday incidences. They are very personal. Yeah. Was there a block? What will people say? Are people going to judge me when I write it? Because there are a lot of writers out today who want to do things which are very personal, but there's always this fear, what will people think? How did you want to talk about that? I think what will people think is a fear that just crosses every boundary, right? right? You write fiction, poetry, right. memoir, anything. I mean, you write someone else's story and you're still, uh, you know, uh, you're, you're, yeah, you're still surrounded with fears. Is it good enough? Yeah. Uh, are people going to judge me for even trying? To me, personal writing comes naturally. You know, it's where I find uh, the inspiration. For. I mean, these are my stories, and they mean something to me. And when I put it down, it seems like they could mean something. And the experience just shows me that. I, I'm able to separate myself from what I do and, and, then, uh, and then when you write with a certain technique it just becomes more universal and uh, because it seems to resonate because you know people read it and say hey that's exactly what I want to say you think okay this is working this is working you know when I was reading your book Natasha there was especially towards the end there is a lot of instances and a lot of writing that you've done about the Hindu Muslim book about you know the, the variations that have happened there are uh, you know experiences about your daughter i still remember the one where she goes for a haircut you know and the person asks her you know are you a muslim uh, i think in today's context i'm just trying to understand um, how how does that kind of thing bring you threat and how it was very beautiful of you to write that out because even though people might not have that kind of connection where i have an Indian muslim or whatever the so-called divide within the house we kind of see it every day happening yeah what are your thoughts on that no um so when you first write about i mean there's a certain taboo right uh, that kind of is already out there but we all know that the taboo is wrong Right, right. We, we know that uh, that love is okay and yes. we know that an inter-caste, inter-religious, yes. inter-ethnic marriage is okay. Right. Uh, it's not the, we are not the first people who've done exactly. it, we're not the last, it's been carrying on for centuries. But suddenly we're in a time where it, uh, you know, the voices against it uh, are getting louder and louder right. and one thought about it, I mean, what, what is the way to respond? Should I go back and hide? Mm -hmm. Or should I just do the reverse? Should I just come out into the limelight and say, well, this is me and I'm okay. Right. And what do you think? Right. And you realize that when you confront hate, yes. uh, you're able to dissolve it. I mean, you confront it in peace. You confront it with love. You confront it with a story. Yes. You know, it's, yes. it's, you're not confronting it with violence. And you confront it with your own innocence and the innocence of your children. Yes. Yes. And how will people not respond to that? And that's so beautiful because I think that's what we need right now. We need to be able to handle those kind of issues with 
Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, when I married my husband, uh, I didn't, I never thought I would be talking publicly about yeah. it because, you know, why would yeah. it matter to anybody? Exactly. But we just live in a time where if, if you're going to be made to look like you did something right. wrong, then uh, you're, you're going to defend yourself. Eddie words, this is your first book and you're going to be coming out with your second book very soon. Um, what is it that you would like to tell aspiring writers, especially the ones who are wanting to write their own stories, you know, who can connect to uh, the, the format that you have, the story that you have, what is it that you can tell them so that they can come out of those fears and be able to do something? Forgive yourself. <laughs> look at your guilt in the face, look at your guilt yes. in the eye, ask it what it wants, what is it afraid of? And you know, literally, systematically, one by one, pick off those fears and they'll become your friends and you'll have stories to tell. How beautiful is that? Thank you so much. I think one thing very important um, that's come out from here is how important it is for us to give up our fears, how to get over them, how to understand them, connect to them and then be able to do. And if that involves writing a book, why not? Thank you so much for being with us, Natasha. It has been wonderful. Thank you so much for watching.